Maine is a place where many people have more than one job. Working two or even three jobs, that's a way of life for a lot of folks. It is part of the story of the man you are about to meet, whose two jobs take him into very different worlds. Around four in the morning, Max Armstrong walks into Forage Market in Portland and starts working. His job is to make bagels. The bagels are hand rolled, boiled, then baked in a hardwood oven. One more second on those. A lot of work, no sitting around. It's really physical, it's really tactile. I really like that. I like the craft of making a really good bagel. I enjoy that. A few years ago, Armstrong read an article about an unusual program at a prison in Maine and wanted to know more about it. That's because in addition to being a bagel baker, he is a documentary filmmaker. I'm always on the lookout for stories that really light me up because making a film is so hard. And so you have to be really passionate. If you're not passionate, you're not going to finish. The story that captured Armstrong's attention was about Mountain View Correctional Facility in Charleston, north of Bangor, where an organic farmer had taken over as the food supervisor and started an organic garden. And within an hour of speaking with him, I was talking to the commissioner of the Department of Corrections in Maine, and he wanted to give us full access to tell the story. Armstrong started shooting his documentary, which begins by showing the food in the prison before the garden. At best, mediocre, at worst, awful. Some of the boxes inside the freezer were marked grade J for prison consumption only, and that didn't really make you feel great about eating or serving that. To know that you're gonna get these exact same meals every single day, and to know the quality of the meal is gonna be that same quality, it really just puts you in a kind of a, a lull. You're hungry, but you're not looking forward to going to the chow hall. Armstrong's documentary, which is called Seeds of Change, tells the story of how farmer and food supervisor Mark McBride created the garden, how inmates enthusiastically planted and tended it, and how the produce from the garden is cooked and served in the prison kitchen. It's not like it's an easy, fancy job, but when you have a good crew and you have a good boss and everybody's working together in unison, it makes easy work out of it. The scale of the garden is impressive. So are the results. Healthier, tastier food at a lower cost. And what isn't consumed in the Mountain View kitchen goes to nearby food pantries. On this five acres, I'd like to see us be able to produce 100,000 pounds. It may be a stretch, but I, I know it's possible. When you're doing your work at the bakery, which is kind of repetitive, and I'm sure you've got it down cold now, are you thinking about filmmaking? We'll roll between 600 to 1,500 bagels a day, uh, and you're just doing the same thing, rolling out the bagels, and there were moments when I was rolling a bagel, and I thought, that's what I need to do. That was the problem I had in the editing room that I couldn't figure out, and I was able to figure it out through this repetitive, meditative task. Armstrong emphatically did not want to make a piece of prison propaganda, but his film ended up being something rare, a documentary which shines a light on something positive that's happening in the prison system. Just knowing that I had helped bring that food in and was able to eat that fresh broccoli and stuff, it gave me a sense of pride. What do you hope viewers get out of it? Well, I can tell you what I've gotten out of this whole process is that um, a, a decent meal is a human right. And that good food, uh, the growing of it, the cooking of it, the eating of it, uh, it has a profound impact on the lives of incarcerated individuals. Um, it instills meaning and dignity into the lives of people who live in an environment that's ordinarily defined by shame and despair. Armstrong now hopes that Seeds of Change sends ripples far beyond the walls of one prison to institutions across the country. Prisons, hospitals, schools. I mean, this is incredible because this is a story focused on incarcerated people, but this, uh, these are changes we can make in all of our institutions, and these incarcerated gardeners are leading the way. Again, the name of the film is Seeds of Change. It is a really impressive piece of work, and the reason that Max Armstrong has two jobs is because there is no money in making independent <laughs> films. He has really had to struggle to raise the money to make the movie. He is still 
doing all of his own work in distributing the movie, getting it out on the film festival circuit. His aim is to get it on public TV stations across the country, mm -hmm. but he has put his heart and soul into this. And we've got more information about Max and his movie company, his documentary movie company, in the 207 section of our website now. Oh, it's so good. And what a great, great thing they're doing. It gives people purpose, you know, at the it's, end of the day. It's just a win, win, win all the way around. It's, as I said, one of those rare stories of positive things, yeah. truly positive things happening in the correction system. And we can do it everywhere else too. So great, great story, Rob.